I will say this. Adam Sandler has my sympathy in this movie. His character tries so hard to make everybody happy and to make everybody feel welcome despite limited resources. I feel for him. At least he has that for him. However, Chris Rock, what have you done? I think this is the worst I've ever seen Chris Rock in. I think that he's actually worse in this one than he was in Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2. It shouldn't be possible, but I think he's phoning this one in. I think he's mostly thinking about other projects that he'd much rather do than this movie. The movie that I'm talking about is The Week Off. wedding on Long Island and um, Kenny, played by Adam Sandler, is going to see his daughter get married to the son of a very famous and very uh, stupid, filthy, stinking, rich uh, surgeon from LA, played by Chris Rock. Adam Sandler feels that it is his obligation to pay for the wedding and make everybody feel happy, you know, at Long Island and he's gonna fix everything despite him not being, you know, stinking, filthy rich. He works by improving hotels by its plumbing, I think. It's, it, it, it's weird. A lot of people are coming from different pl places and he's gonna try to fit all of them and find rooms for all of them. Uh, there, there is a, you know, there is a guy from rehab, there's a quad politics who hates everybody and there are people with different kinds of diseases and the pressure just keeps on building and the leaks just keep on leaking and Adam Sandler's stress level just rises and rises and rises. It is not going to be a pleasant time for anybody. This is not Adam Sandler's fault that this movie isn't good. He's very restrained in this one. It's a very mellow and low-key Sandler we have here. That is usually something that at least improves the movie, but the movie itself is so inoffensive and it takes so few risks and it doesn't try anything new. It never really takes off. It feels like a very long episode of a not that funny sitcom. Because this movie clocks in at a dreadful 116 minutes, I started to feel very, very, very bored very, very fast. There, there, are, there are good side characters in this one and um, there are a funny line here and there that kind of works, but the movie itself has so many dropped storylines and so many dropped side plots and so many weird things that, that whose sole purpose seems to be just to pad out the runtime. The, fa the fact is that all these stress moments that uh, Sandler is plagued with doesn't make me laugh. It doesn't make this movie funny. It just made me stressed and and bored at the same time, which I don't know if you quite can do, but it doesn't matter. The Week Off is another one of these uh, Netflix uh, Adam Sandler movies that has been... Uh, it's been a mixed bag. Some of them has been quite okay and some of them has been downright terrible. The week off is sort of in the middle. Um, compared to other Sandler movies, it is slightly better, but I just hate Sandler so much that it is, it is a miracle that he could muster this much for this movie. Chris Rock and Adam Sandler do have good chemistry together, but at the same time, Chris Rock has been given so lame much lame material that I don't know if it is only the lame material who makes this performance one of the worst he has ever done in a motion picture. Coming to think about it, I don't know if I've ever seen Chris Rock really funny in a movie. He's, a, he's a, an amazing stand-up comedian, but uh, I don't know if I've ever, if he has ever been that funny in a movie, coming to think about it. What a dreadful thing to realize. Ugh. If you want to see Wedding Stress on display, The Week Off is a good movie. 
If you're looking for a good comedy, however, it's not there. I like the fact that Adam Sandler is, 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 is toned down, except for when he's talking to his wife, where he goes into yelling Adam Sandler mode, which, or, which automatically makes me want to jump up and down and throw a brick through the TV. But there you go. It isn't the most terrible thing I've ever seen, but it's too long. It doesn't have enough good material to be fully realized as a good comedy. So eh, there you go. I give this movie 25 points. It is a pretty unfunny comedy that is too long, but it does have moments that works. But the heartfelt moments very rarely does. But I do like the ending, actually. The ending is kind of nice, mostly because Pew, this is all over. Now I can see a better movie than this one. So, this is Sienna, and this is the place where they had the horse race in the movie Quantum of Solace, but it's not gonna be a James Bond movie review today. That will be some other time, I suppose. I'll see you next time from, well, so-and-so reviewing, well, such and such. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.